Hello, I'm Phil and I am the proud owner of the Panasonic GH5 camera and DaVinci Resolve Studio. And I have recently bought a new GPU, a Radeon 7, and I wanted to test how well DaVinci Resolve 16 Beta 4, as we are currently on, uh, leverages my CPU and GPU with the camera footage that I shoot. So I have shot uh, just little five second chunks of every format of 25 frame video that the camera can do. As you can see on the screen here, I shot some beautiful Comic San detailing the format. It says uh, 8 bit, 50, 422, 10 long gop. At 50, if it doesn't say 50, then it's 25. And all I, so that's all the full HDs. And then we have the same things for 4K, which is actually UHD. Yeah, da -da. Oh, let's make that a bit smaller, shall we? Oh. Here we go. And all I. So, let's have a look at our system at the moment. So we're uh, all running 25 frame per second sequence, even though there's some 50 frames per second in there. Just so you know. If we look at our preferences, there's the Radeon 7. What else do we need to know? Ah, yes, we're currently not using the AMD to decode the H.264 footage that this is all shot in. This is all shot uh, as MOV files. What else do you want to know? I'm recording in OBS uh, and it's recording to H.264 so there will be a little bit of a performance hit on the GPU down here. There it is, that's engine 16 which is the H, is that H.264 or H.265? I think that's H.265 that I'm recording. And here's our CPU, it's a uh, 6700K that's rated at 4 gig, but we're overclocking to 4.6 with some lovely Corsair water cooling. So let's start the uh, FHD sequence running and see what happens to our CPU. We're not going to see a lot on the GPU because it's currently not enabled. So what does this look like? So it's two, the, it's two clips, the, the two clips are the same. So that clip is the same as that clip. So, okay, 42% at 50 frames a second. 432 10-bit, long gop, 40%, 43. Yeah, 40, low 40s. Uh, 42 10-bit at 50 frames a second. 46, 47, 49, 50% nudges up a little bit. Radeon's still not doing anything. 5% are probably all just the video encoding on uh, OBS. All I, so it drops off a little bit on the CPU, 30%. 200 megabits per second. And then for the 50 frames a second, yeah. Same or slightly less. Okay, interesting. Let's just ping over to here, see what that's doing. Yeah, that's just GPU uh, video encoding. Okay, let's switch over to our 4K folder. And go. Okay, a bit higher, 45% for the 8 bit 420 long gop. 46, 50 frames a second, 65, nudging up there, but still quite a comfortable headroom there. Four two two ten bit. 64, a little spike there, but it settled down again. And again, interesting. Obviously, there's no caching or anything going on there. There's no uh, color grading, no effects on this at all. This is just raw footage. 45%, 47%. So, yeah, again, a little tail off for the uh, all eye, but it's still reasonably uh, CPU intensive. Okay, um, right, let's switch over to. Uh, minimize that. Switch over to the AMD decoding. It's going to require a restart. So let's do that. Okay, we have fired up uh, DaVinci Resolve 16, beta 4, I think, and we've enabled AMD decoding. Let's just check the version there so you can see it for yourself. Yes, I think it's beta 5, even though it says 040. 
Okay, let's see what happens with the uh, CPU and GPU usage. Um, anytime I switch between these two, it's going to stop playback, so I'll figure something out there. What happens? So this is with GPU decoding on. Okay, uh, GPU leaps up to 30%, so that's decoding there, isn't it? That's the 8-bit. Long gop. And 50 long gop. So it's yeah, possibly low percentage on the CPU. GPU's chugging away quite well there. So that's the 8-bit. And then on to 10-bit. GPU drops right off again. So there's no GPU acceleration for 10-bit in FHD. And the CPU's leapt up to 60, 50%. 50 frames a second, 45%, 50 50%. GPU's doing bugger all. All 10-bit, all I. Again, nothing going on on the GPU, really. frames a second, all I, yeah, 28%, it's not too bad, but it's only HD resolution, 28%, yeah, okay, what we'll do here is we'll switch over to the 4K, and we'll have a look at what the GPU is doing, as I say, uh, this engine 16 is the HEVC encoding, as I recall, I believe the video decode for H.264 is that of uh, video decode, as opposed to that one or indeed any of the other things, who knows. I also know that Compute 2 is the only compute engine that seems to do much of anything inside of Resolve when it's uh, doing color operations and noise reduction and what have you. Okay, so what's this gonna do? 8-bit, 4K. There you go, there's video decoding. 420, 8-bit. 25 frames a second, 50 frames a second. Still doing oh, perhaps slightly higher for 50 frames a second than 25, which is, I guess, understandable. And 10 bit, down to nothing on the decode again. It's a shame, isn't it? It's a shame that it won't uh, decode 10 bit because that's all I shoot. <laughs> yeah. And, oh, a little spike in the CPU there. I wasn't watching that. That leapt up, didn't it? Settled down. What was that, what was that that did that? Is it the 10-bit long op? It was the 10-bit long op. 78%, but still, that's pretty comfortable. Although it's only one stream of video. If you do a dissolve, obviously, it's going to uh, hit the skids. Um, it's probably also worth pointing out that I'm running all this off of a uh, Thunderbolt 3 to Thunderbolt 2 adapter connected Lacey Big 5 RAID. So it's a 10 terabyte system with five drives formatted in RAID 5s. RAID 5? Yeah, RAID 5. Okay, so there we go. No 10 bit hardware decoding using AMD, which is a bit of a shame. I hope you found this useful. Don't bother liking or subscribing because this isn't really a channel. But thanks for watching. If you leave a comment, then I'll connect with another human being and that'll be beautiful. Okay, bye.